Petrus Christus, born in 1410, was an early Netherlandish painter who was active in Bruges from 1444. He became the leading painter in Bruges after the death of Jan van Eyck, along with Hans Memling. Christus was greatly influenced by van Eyck and Rogier van der Weyden. He was known for his use of linear perspective and meticulous technique, which seemed to be derived from miniatures and manuscript illumination. During the period between the death of Jan van Eyck in 1441 and the establishment of Hans Memling in the mid-1460s, Christus held the position of the leading painter in Bruges. Bruges was the prominent center of Netherlandish painting at that time. For many centuries, Christus remained an anonymous figure. It was not until the work of modern art historians that his importance was established. In Renaissance times, Giorgio Vasari barely mentioned him in his biographies of painters, and near-contemporary records only listed him among many others. It was in the early to mid-19th century that Gustav Wagen and Johann David Passavent played crucial roles in establishing Christus's biographical details and attributing works to him. Christus' early works show a strong influence of Van Eyck's style, with attention to detail and a meticulous rendering of textures. However, he also developed his own unique approach to painting, characterized by a softer and more delicate treatment of light and color. One of his most famous works, Saint Eligius in his workshop, showcases his skill in capturing the atmosphere and everyday life of the time. The painting depicts Saint Eligius, the patron saint of goldsmiths, in his workshop, surrounded by various tools and objects related to his craft. The attention to detail and the realistic portrayal of the figures in the painting demonstrate Christus' mastery of his craft. During his career, Christus became known for his portraits, particularly of individuals from the Burgundian court. His portraits are characterized by a strong sense of individuality and a psychological depth that was uncommon at the time. One example is the portrait of Edward Grimston, which showcases Christus' ability to capture the sitter's personality and convey a sense of their inner thoughts and emotions. Another notable portrait is that of a young girl, which reveals Christus' skill in capturing the innocence and purity of youth. These portraits not only served as visual representations of the individuals but also conveyed their social status and position within society. In addition to portraits, Christus also excelled in religious paintings, particularly scenes of the Nativity and the Lamentation. These works often feature richly detailed backgrounds, intricate compositions, and a profound sense of spirituality. One such painting is, The Nativity, which depicts the birth of Christ in a humble stable, surrounded by Mary, Joseph, and various angels and shepherds. The use of light and color in this painting creates a serene and ethereal atmosphere, emphasizing the divine nature of the event. Another notable work is, The Lamentation, which portrays the grief and sorrow following Christ's crucifixion. The expressive faces and gestures of the figures in this painting evoke a powerful emotional response from the viewer. In conclusion, Petrus Christus was an influential early Netherlandish painter who left a lasting impact on the art world. His meticulous technique and attention to detail, inspired by Jan van Eyck and Rogier van der Weyden, set him apart as a master of his craft. Christus' unique approach to painting, characterized by a softer treatment of light and color, brought a sense of delicacy and beauty to his works. His portraits, particularly of individuals from the Burgundian court, showcased his ability to capture the sitter's personality and convey a sense of their inner thoughts and emotions. Additionally, his religious paintings, such as, The Nativity, and, The Lamentation, displayed a profound spirituality and evoked powerful emotional responses. Petrus Christus' contributions to art continue to be recognized and appreciated to this day.